Hi right, guys, I got a new gun today, so I haven't been up uploading videos because I'm not in my other house, but as soon as I get back to the house, I will uh, start uploading more videos. Um, I got a new gun today. It is the um, 420 FPS Airsoft D-Boys Full Metal m 4 qbr um, I'm going to show you all the stuff it came with. First off, it came with this uh, one point sling which is surprisingly a pretty good quality as a metal clip here. Really good quality. I don't see it breaking anytime soon. Um, okay, it's the standard uh, trickle charger, uh, wall charger, whatever. Um, this is the battery it came with. Or, oh, where the other one is? Where it is? Okay. It came with a 1200 uh, nunchuck style battery and uh, I went ahead and bought a 1600 uh, milliamp battery uh, a ten, uh, intellect one which is uh, more better quality than the, the stock battery it came with a foregrip it also came with a unjamming rod Um, I bought this uh, smart charger. Pretty huge. It, has, it came with this metal thingy. I don't know what it is, but it charges it faster. It's cool with me. Some Allen keys and some screws. Also, I just wanted to point out I did not know this was the Dean charger. For y'all that don't know, if you have Deans, you uh, plug this in to the, uh, the large Tamiya uh, adapter and you clip these on to each uh, each one and then it will charge. I thought that was pretty cool. They also bought this red dot scope by uh, Diamond. A 1 times 40 scope. And yeah. I'll show you that now. The gun is full metal and it, uh, the stuff I have on it is I have a barrel extension here, right here. From uh, from here to here is the barrel extension. It should just be where this is, where this laser is, which is what I bought. I also bought the laser. It's a little clamp that comes on your barrel. Really easy to uh, place on. Um, I also bought a way better fore, uh, foregrip. This one was a little too wobbly. It's really nice. It's a little rubbery. It's a little rubbery grip and the rest is metal. Um, overall, the only plastic parts are uh, the flash hider, uh, the ABS uh, plastic uh, pistol grip, and the polymer crane stock. Um, this can be detached, just screwing it on and off which uh, I will do when I put on my uh, red dot. Um, right off the bat, there's a problem, not really a problem, but it probably gets in the way. Uh, the selector switch is not really hard right here to switch to semi, but uh, to switch to, hold on. To switch to uh, auto, it's, uh, it's a bit rough, but it's not really a problem, it's just maybe it just needs a little bit of silicone. Um, I think the uh, charging handle is a little too sensitive. Uh, I'll show you how much you need to pull here. Um, show you, here. you just need to pull it a little bit and there it is, your hop of it is exposed. It's pretty cool they don't have the dummy round uh, thing here, the slide. So you can just adjust it without having to pull that back. Um, other than that, this thing is full metal. Weighs about maybe eight pounds, maybe. It's still really light. I can maneuver with it really easily, but it's pretty heavy. It's a pretty heavy gun. It, I think some uh, something else that's pretty cool is the uh, the one point sling adapter here. I don't know if you can see it right there pretty cool. It's already on there. Um, 
A major problem I have with this is the magwell. Um, here is the mag it came with. D-Boys mag. It seems to be the only one that fits. Uh, oh. This one's the one. This is the D-Boys one. And it seems to be the only one that fits in there. Uh, fairly easy. Oh, wrong way. That's in there. This is a JG mag, JGM4. And you kind of have to wiggle it in there. It's a bit wobbly, but you can deal with that. This is a APS mil spec mag. This one I have a little trouble with it. I, I usually like my mag wheels to be um, just a straight uh, shot in. This one takes a little bit of wiggly, but. It's pretty good. With the test, I haven't really done an official test to put on video, but when I shot it, it was pretty accurate um, with the with the uh, iron sights. It would hit the target. It would hit uh, it would hit a square target about 12 by 12. Just a good body size. I could probably hit it from a good 30 30 feet is all I had to work with. So I'm pretty sure it's better than this if you just get the hop up adjusted. Um, what else? I think that's the oh another problem is the buttstock. It really can't fold all the way in because the wire in there. That's as far as it'll go. The wire in there is pretty tangled. I mean, it, it, there's no room for it. And uh, usually you have to take out a screw here, this hole right here, you see. But I didn't. I just didn't have. To, I didn't want to worry about screwing that on. It'll stay in there anyways. Um, other than that, it's pretty good. Another cool thing that uh, is pretty cool in here is they're numbered here, the rails. It's T, and then the left, right, and then B. There's B on the bottom. That was pretty cool. Um, other than that, it's a pretty good rifle. Uh, probably going to be my primary. It looks really similar to my uh, Well R18. And uh, so I think we can uh, interchange some, um, some parts here, like my hop-up. Because I will want to put a silencer here, uh, since I can put that here on the thread. And, uh, and that, I think this gun is a good overall gun. Um, I think that's all I can say here. I guess I could show you all the manual. There's different types of um, different types of uh, guns. I I believe I have the third one here where my middle finger is. But yeah, this one's the more, uh, this is, looks more like the one I have right here. And, uh, so yeah, very much alike. And, uh, so I'll probably, when I get my, come back to my old house, I'll, uh, probably interchange some stuff, um, switch it around, put, uh, put a red dot. It's pretty cool to have two red dots now. And two, uh, two smart chargers, so I might give some of those away or sell them or whatever. But, uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching, uh. I don't know when my next video will be, uh, but thanks for watching and uh, have a nice day.